Hey, this is Bethany, and today I am coming to you with a tutorial on the Naked 3. I'm saying Naked because my mom's from Oklahoma and that's how she pronounces Naked, but Naked 3. But yeah, so I've really been loving this palette lately, and initially I didn't think I would like it as much as I have, but the more I've played with it, I found that it's challenged my creativity, and I like that it really seems to make blue eyes pop, which is great. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And uh, if you like the look of which is up on my face, then keep watching. First, you're gonna wanna prime. Now this part is completely optional, but because I want a stronger inner highlighter on my tear duct, I use this Tarte Smolderized Pencil in the color Champagne. And I've already partially done it, I just wanted to complete it while I was filming this. Now we're going to take the two matte shades, Limit and Nooner, and we're going to work on the outer corner of the eyes with a blending brush. And I'm just going to pat and sweep it inward, mainly focusing on the outer half of the eye. And now I'm going to take the lighter shade Limit and I'm going to drag that up a little bit more just to extend the shadow and the dimension. We're also going to use those two colors and drag them underneath the eye, focusing mainly on the outer half again. Next we're going to take the lightest shade in the palette called Strange and we're applying that all in the inner point of the eye and all the way to the half point of the eye. This is going to make your lid look a lot bigger and it's going to make your eyes look a lot bigger and more open. Next I will be taking this Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Hot Chocolate and I'm going to be using it to line the top part of the eye and just follow the type of way that I go about it. So we're just wanting to take it from the outer edge and drag it down and inward because we're gonna soften this up with a brush. And then you're gonna stop it about two thirds of the way in on the eye. Next we'll be using that brush from earlier to kind of soften this and smoke it out. And this part does not have to be perfect, just mainly on the inner point of the eye, you don't want it to be messy. Um, because we're going to go over this with liquid eyeliner. And then you can take a little bit of the excess and drag it down to the outer corner. Now we are going to be using the shade Liar on the very outermost corner of the eye. You're going to want to use a small brush just so you could do more detailed work on that area. And you're just going to blot it on the outside so that it doesn't expand too far. Now you're going to want to use Limit and Nooner that we first used and blend this out a little bit more. Then we're going to go in with Black Heart and we're going to line on top of that brown eyeliner as well as add a little bit more dimension to the outer corner of the eye. Last but not least, we want to use that lightest lid shade we used, Strange, and highlight a brow bone. We don't want to forget that today. So before mascara, we want to go ahead and give a cleaner line to the upper eye. I'm going to be using this Physician's Formula Liquid 2-in-1 Eye Doodad thingy. Alright, so for the last part of the eyes we will be using Illegal Lengths Mascara by Maybelline and I won't bore you showing me applying this forever. Next I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Studio Blush in Tickled Pink. I'm going to run it at an angle down my cheekbone to highlight the direction it goes 
but then I'm also going to use another blush on top of it. Next, I'm going to be using this beautiful Milani blush in Dolce or Dolce Pink. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. I think it's Dolce, but I could be totally wrong because I'm uncultured swine. This has a shimmery element to it, so I like to make sure it gets towards the top of my cheekbone. And it will just highlight it and bring it forward more. Alright, so before I apply my lip color, I love using this Benefit What's Up little cream stick thing. And what I do is I take it and I run it from one pointy cupid bow to the other. And you can do this under your foundation if you want, but this is how I've been wearing it. And what that will do will bring forth your upper lip, but kind of also smooth the points of your cupid bow. And rounded cupid bows look a little bit more full to me, so that's why I do that. Next, I'm going to be applying Max Cream Cup to my lips. Here's one way that you could wear it with just cream cup and it makes your lips really nuded. I personally prefer my lips to have a little bit more warmth and color in them. So next I'm going to be sticking to that old, old favorite of mine, NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm. So I'm going to apply that over the top. Alright, so that is my finished look for the Naked 3 palette. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you feel like you can use this for your eye too. I think generally anyone can use the type of look I use because it's like the lightest in the palette and the darkest combined, not too much of anything. And yes, if you didn't notice, I got carried away with my wing because it got bigger than I initially intended to because I messed up. But I think it still worked out alright. It's not perfect. But I still like it. I hope you guys really like this look. And I have at least two more looks that I'd like to show you guys with this palette. Let me know if you like Naked 3 tutorials and I'll just kind of gauge it by that. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye!